everyone, I'm Lisa from Cabin Ceramics, inspiring your clay journey. Today's class is on how to get this lovely wild meadow texture into your clay. So you are going to need some clay. I'm using grogged porcelain from Valentine Clays, but you could use some stoneware or earthenware. You're going to need about a pound and a half of clay. You will need a rolling pin, two measuring sticks. These measure five millimetres, but I'll probably go a little bit thinner than that. I probably might go about three and a half millimetres. Um, so what we're going to make, we're going to make a vessel this size. I'm not going to go with a really tall piece. With this size vessel, you could add um, a tea light to this and it'll shine through and it'll look really lovely and you'll be able to see this lovely texture or you could put some cut flowers in here and that will look lovely too. The way that I make my vessel is I use a piece of card or I might use some craft foam to make my templates. So this template measures four inches across and ten and a half inches down. You will also need an eight inch cookie cutter. If you get your measurements correct, so this is eight inches, remember this is ten and a half inches. And look, that fits perfectly. We're going to be doing this size. I made this wild flower meadow with a mould that I bought online. So this is from Karen Davis. It's for sugar crafts, but I use it as a mould um, for my clay. So you wouldn't actually use this again to, to make any sugar crafts. But yeah, I love it. It's fabulous. So first of all, we're going to roll out the clay. So I've got about one and a half pounds worth of clay here. So using the guide sticks, the five millimeter guide sticks, we're just gonna go forwards and backwards. So remember to put a piece of calico on the table. That's to stop the porcelain from sticking to the table. We keep rolling the clay until we get the template so so we can get these pieces into the clay I'm going to turn it this way as well get a bigger rolling pin. Okay, that's looking about right. Okay, it's a little bit thinner. It's a little bit too thick for me. Let's see how thick it is. Get the ruler out. Go, that's three millimeters, it's just gonna go a little bit thinner. So put the template on the clay and look at how everything is looking. Everything's looking great. So we're gonna compress the clay. So just make this a little bit flat. I don't know how that red piece has just got in flew into there somehow. So if you do find any little bits get into your clay just try and pick it out and just then rub and flatten with your finger compress the clay so can you see how that's making that all nice and smooth you 
felt I'm trying to get it as smooth as I can in the section that I'm going to use. Don't make the mistake I've just made with the calico by not having it straight. I've now got a line in my work. Can you see that there? Move the pulling pin out of the way. But it's all fine. I don't really like using boards, I don't know why, I just, but you can buy a board to work on, I prefer using the calico because I think I get a much smoother finish into my work. Okay, so let's just ignore that line, because this is the dimensions that we want to make the vessel. So I'm just gonna mark with my knife some guidelines. So getting the texture in for this vessel. First of all, um, we're gonna get the grass effect in. Now, Whatever you do, because I have done this, I did this with my first go, do not really press into here. If you do that, then it's just going to split this porcelain. So, place over the top. So, place over the top. And we're just going to just rub, just slightly, just using your fingers, very, very gently, to get this texture of the grass into this piece. Yay, that's nice. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this again. I just want the grass sections here. nice and here as well so you're just going to lift up because there's some flowers here so you don't want these on so again just nice and gently just rub in and then we're starting to get a really nice grass effect here okay so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use my knife just to get some more lines in. Because it is a meadow, so on here we have some, we have wheat, we have barley, we have lavender. I'm going to just, I'm just going to do one here. Just press again, just press down. Like I said, not too firm, not too hard, just very gently. So yeah, that looks good on there. Looks really nice. With the bars, you see that 3D effect there. I'm going to use some clay. I'm going to put the porcelain into the mould and these, that's going to dry for about half an hour and when it's dry I will add it to the clay. So I'm now going to cut. When I, so when I come to fold the vessel I want some that I can play around with a little bit. What you don't want to do is do it too short and then have not have enough enough clay. Again, cut straight across. Try and keep it as straight as you can. And across here as well. So go straight across. 
cost me knife. Move these bits out of the way. Using the eight inch cookie cutter, you've got the clay for the base. And all you need to do is just press down, give it a little wriggle like you would if you was baking a cookie, pull the clay away and there you have the base. So I now have two bases, so if one goes wrong <laughs> I've got another base just in case. So I'm going to set this aside. Now this piece is going to, we're going to need to wait until this is leather hard. So this is the exciting bit now. So I'm going to press some clay into this lovely part of the mould. So this part of the mould holds the lavender, the barley, the wheat. Um, I'm, I'm not going to put too many 3D pieces onto that because I think it will spoil it. So I'm probably just going to go with um, the tiny flowers that are in this corner here. And I think... I think I'll go with the lavender, but I'm just going to use half of the lavender. So using the, the, the off cut of clay that I had, all you need to do is just flatten the piece out a little bit and then we're just going to press this into the mould. Press it in and then what I usually do is just smooth with my finger just so just keep pressing that in not too heavy these little flowers at the bottom I'm not sure I'm not sure what these are called if anyone knows what those ones are called I can see the barley and the wee and the lavender not sure I'm not sure that what that is but it's very nice it's very nice I've just put a little flower on there okay same thing okay again just using a bit of clay just press in and then wipe away with your finger so I'm gonna carry on rest of these in here. I'm gonna leave this in the mould for I say I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna check on it in 15 20 minutes see what it looks like see, see, see if it's ready to, to to pop out. I'm gonna check on this in about 20 minutes but this this is probably gonna need a two hours to um, become leather hard. It's got a little bit warm in the cabin so I've had to change my top. This has been drying for a good 30 minutes. This will just tap out now. Yay, look at that. Look how cute that is. Look how cute. Look how cute that is. That's so cute. That does that little tiny piece that's come out of the mould is just lovely. So I think we're going to place this here. It's a little bit wet but this is I found this is the best way to get this out. So I'm going to use these two little pieces as well. Yep, I think that looks nice. So I'm going to um, slip and score. I'm just going to use the knife. So taking the small little flower, just going to score. I'm just going to use a brush, just a little bit of slip. And turn and press. I'm going to do the same with this little piece. and slip. It's 
gonna just pop right there and just press same with the lavender score press this down here and the top part of the lavender as well just a little bit of scoring all you need a bit slip and press just clean a little bit of that slip up just a little bit oozing out around the sides clean that up so we'll leave this to dry so we're going to slip and score the base and put it all together that is now leather hard so I'm now going to score the bottom using this very nifty kidney tool going to add some slip the brush now be generous with the slip don't feel that you have to it has to be too thin it doesn't add a little bit of water everything's drying really quickly today because it's it's warmer than it usually is and I'm not used to that in the UK okay just attaching that I'm going to just slip and score inside of here. You need to do this as quickly as you can. A lot of slip on there. Okay, wrap over. Wrap round. I like my vessels to have a bit of a wave in them. That's why I don't cut a perfect rectangular slab. So you've got one hand inside, and then we're just going to press with each finger. So you've got your finger on the outside, and I've got my. index finger on the outside okay so that will be just left to dry once it's starting to get dry I'll go over it with a wet sponge just to take out any in a little bit can you see that little mark there so I'll sponge that out later make this edge a lot smoother and I'll also smooth out the bottom as well but this is looking fab really really pleased with how this is starting to turn out I hope this short class on how to get texture into your work using meadow flowers has inspired you to go and pick up some clay and get making this piece if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching